biology is exciting and creating a career in biology is fascinating but what's exhilarating is creating something in biology from scratch and that's what is bio entrepreneurship now remember whenever you want to start a company in the biotech and pharma sector it's not necessarily that it has to be a core company rather it can be a different company okay which has which adds more value to the society and to you so in today's video i'm going to give you more or less around five more ideas and uh, next set will come later in the next video but for now i'll give you five or six ideas and before that i want to tell all the young bio entrepreneurs who want to make a uh, biosciences company in our country in the world that remember re re resources are not your limitation uh, funding crunch is never going to get solved no matter where how big you become there will always be less funds and you'll always have challenges whether you are a bio entrepreneur or a job seeker that means intrapreneur whether you're an entrepreneur or an intrapreneur challenges will always be there so today i'm going to give you five ideas and but before i give you that let me tell you a mantra and that is start your company with what you have where you are and whatever understanding you have over a period of time in your journey you will learn things and you'll grow that's how i did things that's how you're going to learn so today let's jump on and look at some new ideas which we have got now the first which i would like to highlight is something similar to what has been done but for a different things now you look at this there are multiple diseases which is happening in the world but the diagnostic tools are limited so you can design a diagnostic tool for any disease of your choice you can start with whatever you have do some research on internet and develop that diagnostic tool or a diagnostic test for that particular um, disease it can be a biochemical test it could be a microbiological test it could be a machine you develop or you can or maybe you use ai so these are the five approaches which which you can use but definitely this is how you do things now where it all goes wrong is you wait for you know the final breakthrough to happen no talk to your professor network with somebody on linkedin who who has done it or who has some experience talk to some phd students maybe reach out to somebody in iits or iic no matter whom you have to do see when we started our stuff we reached out to professors in iit they helped us so you know if you want to develop a diagnostic test for any disease that's the first idea i wanted to give you and now i'm telling you that you don't need any resources because all you have to do is do all the planning in your mind and within your computer and when it comes to execution reach out to me talk to me because you know every idea needs some kind of filtration what happens is when the moment we get an idea we all jump in yeah i yeah, will do it but later on we realize that either the idea is easily copyable or not uh, workable or requires a lot of investment which we don't have or has some roadblocks like legal and ethical issues so you know it's always wise to talk to an expert you can always reach out to me if you have got an idea that is what will fix it now coming to the second one which we have and that is creating a sustainable alternative okay creating a sustainable alternative to commonly used product or services okay now i'll i'll give you example very simple so right now you have um, you know um, water which is a renewable resource but it is a scarce resource and it becomes very difficult to purify it so and there are airports where there will be you know a lot of water consumption what if you create a alternative to water for the washrooms right right now they are using sewage water but, but that stinks but what if you could find alternative chemical which is better than water cheaper than water but does the same thing so basically you have to look for sustainable solutions which is cheaper and better okay so that's a second idea 
not just water probably water is very cheap but let's look at other alternatives like okay uh, there's too much of uh, consumption or, of diesel or petrol so we can have a sustainable and as efficient or better efficient product which is the, the jetrofa uh, oil which we produce that is a biodiesel so that's the second idea which we have of course you need to do a lot of research on that not research in the lab but research on the internet first and then reach out to people who can help you okay so and uh, like last uh, video i spoke about the sustainable or the healthy solution to uh, uh, the um, lace chips or kurkure you have so that's uh, one thing so commonly used product or services you have to look for create a sustainable solution now the third thing which i have is developing a therapy for a or a treatment for a specific disease now this requires some a bit of uh, you know uh, exp expenditure and of time and uh, money and uh, you need to do research probably your phd but if you're doing it already i think that's the best case uh, you can use or commercialize your phd into this now what happens when you convert your phd thesis into your lifelong passion a google happens or a facebook happens you have to sit in your dormitory or lab think how can i commercialize my phd topic or phd idea and make a company out of it so don't just do a phd if you are a phd student think how can you convert your phd idea into a full fledged billion dollar company and if you have questions regarding that reach out to me i'll help you because i have extensive experience in commercializing ideas i'll definitely help you there so that's the third third idea which i have for you today now the fourth one is developing agricultural tools to improve the agricultural produce now these these can be ai powered or machine learning powered or this could be uh, bio fertilizers or anything which helps in increasing the agricultural produce because agriculture is going to be the next major challenge in the world you should know this there's a 70% of the land agricultural land in us is owned by a company which is owned by bill gates now why bill gates will convert all his software money into agriculture money because he knows in future there will be demand of food so he can make a lot of money out of that but what i am trying to tell you here is think smarter than bill gates and work on tools which will further increase the capacity of the agricultural produce in the same land right so that's the idea that's the fourth one this is a very vague idea but you can definitely sharpen it refine it further to grow in your entrepreneurship career now the next one which i have for you is recycling or repurposing waste materials okay so it can be a bio waste or fertilizer which you can convert to vermicomposting i got a lot of ideas about vermicomposting from you know students from uh, himachal pradesh they are sending me vermicomposting ideas that's a great idea there or you can look for you know like newspaper so newspaper waste how can you use it to create a biotech product or anything which is a waste right dry waste e waste whatever how do you convert it and use it in your company or you create a company out of it so that's one idea which i can give you so these are the five ideas basically i'll come in the next video with five more ideas but for now you can see these ideas are very liberating and you don't need to depend on someone to give you a job you can not just generate jobs for yourself but you can gen generate jobs for thousands of families who will depend on your future companies so my message to all the youngsters out there is you can create a huge scope for yourself and future students of biosciences industry if today you take the plunge and jump in and create some companies out of your dorm ideas dormitory ideas if mark zuckerberg can do it if um, the google brothers can do it uh, friends can do it if um, elon musk can do it no, don't think that you are anything lesser than them even they faced challenges they had to sleep on the couch and they had to struggle i had to do it so can you but i am sure that you can do it better than me because you will have my guidance and mentorship for you so very soon we are coming up with some new bio entrepreneurship workshops programs and modules for all of you stay tuned and stay subscribed i hope you found this video helpful if you have any idea or anything you would like to start a company on 
write to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. Most of the emails I reply immediately, but if, even if there is a delay, I will make sure that I reply to your email. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much. Comment below what kind of videos you would like to watch at Biotechnica and we would love to make them. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.